Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasegrades.com and that is 2021 Prism Baseball Quick Pitch Edition. Four box, pick your team number two. You can see the next one is already in the store. Big break credit giveaway here. If you buy at least two teams, you get an entry. Four teams gets you two entries, six teams gets you three entries. Basically buy an even number of teams and half of that amount becomes an entry for break credit. We're giving away $750 of break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com. Winner take all. Woo. Pretty nice stuff. And no vet common ship. A lot of great stuff here. Um, quick pitch is basically like um, like fast break for Prism uh, basketball and no huddle for Prism football. So this is just... Uh, and what's, uh, what's soccer? Prism soccer, I think, is breakaway maybe? Anyhow, quick pitch. You can kind of see the theme. Same deal there. All right, so big thanks, everybody, here for getting in on the action. Appreciate it. And I think, yeah, Ryan Redmond ended up with the last spot Mojo star next to his name. Thank you, Ryan. I remember when we opened up that case, I marked all the quick pitch boxes with X's so we know they're all from the same case. So you were looking for the donut circle prism parallels, which are exclusive to the quick pitch set, or the disco parallels, or the bubbles, refractors, depending on whatever you want to call them. Nowadays they call them donut circles. All right, let's see what we got here. Good luck. A lot of big sports news happening today, ladies and gentlemen. I know we're in a, in a baseball break, and I'm sure there's all sorts of baseball things happening out there. Are there? What are the big baseball headlines for today? Javier Baez apologizing. Lance Lynn on the IL with knee inflammation. That's not going to help me in my fantasy baseball playoffs in September. Otani won't pitch Tuesday. Trout's calf is still sore. I think they're going to... Eventually, just not, what's the point of having him play at this point in the season? Just rest him up. Giants, Johnny Cueto out with the cold. And Alex Wood apparently tests positive for COVID. Indians catcher, oh, Ramos out for the year with a tour in ACL and MCL. Ouch. Ooh, the Nationals end up optioning Victor Robles. It's interesting. Brand, Brad Hand designated for excitement. Pirates released Gregory Polanco, I think, the other day. Kenta Maeda undergoing elbow surgery. That's right. Patrick Sandoval out for the season. Well, there's that's that's kind of the, some of the baseball headlines, but a couple of a couple of big uh, big headlines in the other sports. And we got U.S. Open tennis on the background. Um, Cam Newton got cut. Where does Cam Newton end up? He got cut from the Patriots, and the Patriots just all in on Mac Jones, which will be interesting. And then Ben Simmons looks like he has asked out of Philadelphia, so now. People are trying to figure out where he's going to end up. There will be some late basketball offseason player movement. There's Nelson Cruz, 2 out of 40. For Minnesota, that's going to go to Patrick. There's Ricky Henderson, blue, donut circles, 47 out of 199. That is for the A's, Jonathan. So a lot going on. Where does Ben Simmons end up? Where does Cam Newton end up? There's Arenado, one out of 99, fearless. There's Santiago Espinal, 70 out of one uh, out of 199, and a Joe Adele Red Wave, nice, 24 out of 99, one of the. Up-and-coming stars for the Angels. That's going to go to Jonathan. 
The S final goes to Toronto, Steve Wright. Cody Ballinger, 63 out of 199. He's been struggling lately, but hopefully he bounces back. Jonathan has the Dodgers. And Will Craig for Brian Crouch and the Pirates is your rookie autograph. That is 45 out of 60. You can see right there on the bottom. Estevan Floreal, 166 out of 199. It's for the Yankees. That'll be for Jonathan. Tim Anderson, Green, Donut Circles. Kevin Biggio, Green, Donut Circles for Toronto. Isaiah Kiner Falefa, 39 out of 99. Red Donut Circles, which are numbered. Goes to Patrick Davis and the Rangers. Bryce Harper hitting the ball well recently. And there's Clayton Kershaw, 163 out of 199. He's making his way back from the IL. Be a nice little boost for the Dodgers down the stretch and heading into a playoff run. Maybe they can avoid that, uh, that scary one game wild card. I don't want to do that. Dodgers took advantage of a, a Giants loss last night. They, they, they had a win last night as well against the Braves. They're now one and a half games behind the Giants. So that's good. So Brewers are at in San Francisco. And the Braves are here in L.A. Walker Buehler on the mound for the Dodgers. So hopefully that's another win there. Hopefully the Brewers can do the Dodgers a little bit of a favor. And that can make things really interesting going into the weekend. With the Dodgers and Giants playing each other. Exciting September, ladies and gentlemen. Exciting, exciting finish. Chris Lombardo, not a football guy, but Panini Black comes out on Friday. Yeah, it is pretty nice. I think they used to have that brand back in 2012-ish or something, 2013-ish around there. And then it was gone for a while and they brought it back recently. 94 out of 199, Ken Griffey Jr., old school. That'll be for David and the Mariners. Nice blue donut circles pattern. It's Tanner Hawk, 34 out of 99. Yeah, Mookie, I don't know, I'm sure you've, some of you have seen the highlights already. Mookie bets his mom throughout the first pitch at Dodger Stadium last night. It was pretty adorable. And there's Kiebert Ruiz, who recently made his debut with the Nationals. Former Dodgers prospect. Still goes to the Dodgers, Jonathan. So best of luck to him. Four out of 49.
Joe Adele, 199 out of 199. And that, of course, Kiebert Ruiz turned into Trey Turner and Max Scherzer. <coughs> We've got a Miguel Cabrera, 2 out of 10. Nice low number on that gold. Gold donut circles to 10. Bennett and the Tigers. Surely a, a first ballot Hall of Famer right here. Ronald Acuna Jr., 190 out of 199. Clayton Kershaw, Blue Mojo to 199. Another Dodger for Jonathan. Freddie Freeman, 33 out of 99 for Atlanta. That'll be for Brian Crouch. 20 out of 199, Brandon Bielek for Houston. It's going to go to Jonathan. Mike Schmidt, 95 out of 99. Philadelphia, Ryan Redman with the Phillies. Dalton Jeffries, 89 out of 199. There's a Cabrian Hayes, who I think is day-to-day -day with an injury. Could be a future star in the making here. Maybe we'll find some parallels of Cabrian Hayes. All right. Halfway through this four-box break. Next one, good luck. Wild card looking interesting. Yankees lost a few games in a row. I don't think their wild card, card position is in danger just because the Red Sox lost two in a row. But don't look now, but the A's and Blue Jays have taken advantage. So A's have won a couple in a row. Now they're two back of a wild card spot. And the Blue Jays have won three in a row. They're four and a half back of a wild card spot. So, Blue Jays, could they do it? They've, they've got some nice youngsters there. they got some solid pitching. They could sneak in there. They could shock the world. But right now, as it stands, AL wild card, Yankees, and Red Sox. And that'll be, that'll be a pretty highly rated wild card game, I would imagine. Yeah, you don't think so? Chris Lombardo's thinking Red Sox not going to make the wild card game. They're hitting... Getting hit hard with uh, with COVID issues right now. Can't get the team back on track. Yeah, they, they're, they're missing some guys. In the NL, Dodgers have a pretty, uh, pretty commanding grip on the wild card spot. They're 12 and a half games ahead of Cincinnati, so they're not going to lose a wild card spot. But I think they'd rather win the division. They don't want their team. They don't want their season coming down to coming down to a one-game playoff. 104 out of 199. Kohei Arihara going to Texas. That's going to go to Patrick. There's Travis Blankenhorn. 178 out of 199. Yeah, and Chris Chris is a Red Sox fan. He's trying to be realistic about what's happening here. Yeah, what happened with the the Red Sox? I feel like we're cruising for like three or four months. There's Ryan Weathers, 15 out of 49, and then they really cooled off. I guess their entire hitting went cold when JD Martinez started something. 
I thought they were going to get a little boost with Chris Sale and all that, but it's going to work out. There's rookie autographs. 15 out of 49, Ryan Weathers for the Padres. It's going to go to Jonathan. There's Luis Gonzalez. 95 out of 99 for the White Sox. Yeah, it was the all-star game break when things turned for the worse for the Red Sox. There's Zach Gallon to 199 for Arizona. It'll be for Patrick. Willie Castro, tier three to 199. And that'll be for Bennett and the Tigers. Ken Griffey Jr., four out of 99. Red donut holes, donut circles. Wait, what are they calling donut? Not donut holes, yeah. Donut circles is what they're calling them. There's Jazz Chisholm. There's Walker Bueller. We'll see him tonight, 31 out of 40. Gotcha. So Chris is saying Red Sox just didn't do enough at the trading deadline. Meanwhile, their competition improved, and that's the big difference as of now. There's Taylor Trammell, 25 out of 199. Although they're still they're still the rest of September, it'll be pretty exciting if they can just hang on. They get guys healthy at the right time. I know as a as as a neutral fan. I would love to. I would love to watch a one-game playoff. Yankees Red Sox one-game playoff. All right, Taylor goes to Seattle. That's going to be for David. And this Leody Tavares, forty-one out of seventy-five. It's like the X Fractor checkerboard pattern. I haven't seen a lot of these. That goes to Patrick and the uh, the Rangers. And the final quick pitch box. Another four boxes in the store, and that same break credit promo still there. Buy at least two teams. So Chris thinks your GM's oh the former Rays GM, and he likes to hold on to prospects. Chris thinks that maybe they should have moved guys like uh, Blaze Jordan to try to get a Barrios or a Rizzo. I don't know, but what, what were the expectations for the Red Sox at the beginning of the season? So I don't know. Maybe maybe they think they have done better than, than expectations. They didn't want to mortgage the future for the short term. Don't know. But maybe if you know the your rivals, the Yankees, are going to get Anthony Rizzo, maybe you gotta you gotta counter that as well. All right. So the expectation was not to finish last. So you guys have overachieved. But being Boston and being first place for much of the season, the fans wanted them to go for it. Yeah, understandable. It changes the equation. All right, final box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Chipper Jones, 65 out of 99. Red Donut Circles. We've got Blue Donut Circles, Christian Yelich to 199. We got some more gold here. It's Alec Manoa, seven out of ten, gold donut circles. Steve Wright and the Blue Jays, a little bit of gold. And the autograph is Chris Bubich for Bennett and the Royals rookie autographs, blue donut circles. 
Four out of 60. Didn't Jokovic get uh, get disqualified for the U.S. Open last year when he when he hit a tennis ball at a at someone at a Stewart, I think. One fifty out of one ninety nine. Maybe that was a different tournament. Pretty much, I pretty sure it was the U.S. Open. Zach McKinstry for the Dodgers. Sluggers Teoscar Hernandez, David Peterson. 69 out of 99 for the Mets. Red for Jonathan. Mike Piazza, Blue Donut Circles to 199. Well, you know, Chris, I feel like I feel like if the Red Sox overachieved, if you feel like they overachieved, then that means maybe you guys aren't too aren't that far away. Fill a couple spots here and there. Is Isaac Paredes to 199? Might be closer than you think. There's Daz Cameron, 20 out of 40. It's going to be an interesting offseason, ladies and gentlemen. I know baseball's not done yet, but it's kind of a scary thing for, for baseball fans. There's Christian Pache, 60 out of 199. There is a, uh, there's going to be a big collective bargaining battle between players and owners. Because the collective bargaining agreement expires at the end of this season. And you know how well they got along last summer when they were trying to figure out the pandemic season. So we'll see what happens. Stick with us. Keep breaking with us all year long. And we'll keep track of all the, uh, the goings-on in sports. Let's flip back to this list right here. Let's give away a bunch of money. How about that? $750 of break credit given away. Winner take all. Uh, if you bought at least an even number of teams. So let's sort by column B. So if you bought two teams, you get one entry. Just like Bennett, Brian, David, and David H, Big Boys 007. Jonathan bought a boatload of teams, bought 14 teams. So that's seven entries. Half of those become entries. Patrick Davis bought four teams. Two of those are entries. Steve Wright bought two teams. That's an entry. So just one team each. All right. So that's a total of 14 spots right here. Let's get some new dice. There it is. Let's get fresh list. There it is. And let's roll it and randomize that list. Two and a six, eight times. Name on top, $750 of break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com. That goes a long way. Two and a six, eight times. Name on top. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then two more times. Seven and eight. Name on top. Patrick Davis. Wow. Congrats to you. Six and a two after eight times. Your name's on top. $750 of break credit. Going your way. Check your email. Check your spam folder if you don't see it. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll send it to you right after I finish this video, which is right now. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. There's another one of these. Giving away more money. Check it out.